My name is Adam Williams. I was born in Galveston, Texas, and I've lived in Bossier City most of my life. Uh, my name is Caleb, and I'm from Hong Kong. Uh, for those that you don't know, I am not from here. So I got started with my career as a junior in high school when I enrolled in a technical school called Bipstool. From then on, I've gotten so many opportunities to do weddings, work for the Mud Bugs, it's Simple Church, airline high school football, and it's all been a blast. It's actually a very funny story of how I got here. My grandma, she's not really my blood-related grandma, but she was a missionary when my mom was younger, and um, they developed a really, really close connection together um, when she was there. And um, But my grandma had to go back to North Carolina when um, her mom got diagnosed with cancer so that she didn't go take care of her. So my mom actually lost contact with my grandma for about 33 years. The time around 2007, 2008 was when my mom finally connected back to her. And so we took a trip to Toronto and I went down to North Carolina. I never thought that I would be here for more than two or three years because obviously I have my friends and my parents back home. The school in Lake Jackson offered me a scholarship to go to high school, which is crazy. Uh, to think about. When I was getting ready to graduate from high school, I had no idea what I was going to do. I really didn't. I knew I wanted to do video, but where? Had no idea. I uh, wanted to go to Texas, uh, Louisiana Tech. I thought about it as well, but the other school that I had on my mind was LSU. I think it would have been cool to go and go to school there. My uncle graduated from LSU, played baseball there, and so I prayed really hard to get that job because I had wanted it more than anything in the world. And so after a lot of praying and then just realizing, you know, if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. And then I check my email. I get this, just get this nervous feeling to check my email. And it's an email from Doug saying I got the job and I'll be on staff with him in the fall. And I lost it. I was, I literally go, let's go and whole house screaming. And my mom's like, what, 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 what? I was like, mom, I got the job. And she, she freaked out. She was ecstatic. And you know, she started crying, I cried too. And from then on, I, was, I made a vow to myself that I was gonna work harder and sh you know, show Doug that he made the right decision hiring me. There were a couple of people that influenced me from going to Jacksonville to UTBU. And then fast forward a year and a half, uh, I decided I was gonna graduate early. I got into the Disney College program, but um, got willing that it didn't happen, and so I, was really frustrated and really didn't know what I was going to do. John Vance came to me and asked me, "Hey, I got a got an opportunity for you, and you know my church has been looking for a video guy for a long time, and uh, I think you'd be really good fit. Would you like like to contact Chip and ask him for it, uh, see what you can work out, whatever?" And I didn't think I was going to leave LSU. I, I thought I was going to keep climbing, keep getting better, and. But no, God had a different plan for me. And I think that's what was in, I, I failed to realize when I was at LSU was I needed to let God continue to um, show me the path. Even though, even though I thought I was on top and I was doing everything right, God was like, no, 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 slow it down, son. When I came back to Bozier, he really has begun to show me more and more every day that this is the path you're supposed to take. And, you know, God is the architect in my life and I'm more open about it than ever, about him telling me where I need to go and what directions I need to take. Because ultimately, I don't know. I, I'm all over the place a lot of times, and, but if I focus my attention on what God has for me, then I know he's gonna put me in the best position to succeed. Um, knowing that God has led me from Hong Kong all the way to Shreveport, uh, he's been in my life. He's been carrying me on his hand for the you know, for as long as I can know. And I know it didn't start with me. It started all the way back with my grandma. Uh, how she was obedient to go to Hong Kong and be a missionary. You know, at the end of the day, he is the architect of our lives and he knows what's best for us. And even though the circumstances may not be what you want, um, he ultimately has a plan for you and I.